might be writing a breakup letter to our walking um, professor. <laughs> things to celebrate we also don't have classes we have decided to go for a morning coffee walk i was very inspired by um delaney child on instagram she always shows herself going for these coffee walks her and her boyfriend just like instead of just like sitting in the living room drinking her coffee which i also really enjoy makes her coffee and goes for a walk and there's this like trail area in athens called like the greenway and i've walked it once with Ryan a while back and it was really nice and it's a beautiful sunny day it's obviously a little chilly out but we don't have classes today and I just thought it'd be a really nice way to start the day so I haven't had a coffee yet actually um and I'm just using this little gals on the go travel mug looking forward to it. I think it'll be a really nice start to the day and if you're new hey what's up my name is Danielle I forgot to enter this video it is a college week in my life we're starting today, don't, don't have classes until tomorrow, but today's gonna be a good day. I just feel it, I just feel it in my bones. So welcome back if you're new, subscribe, and yeah, let's get started with the day. Here's today's little outfit of the day for our walk. My sweatshirt is from Aritzia. This jacket over top actually might be from Aritzia as well. I got it last year. Hat is from Urban Outfitters, just some black leggings, and then these are the Nike Zooms, I think. They're really comfortable for Walking, woo! Good vibes only this morning. I'm going to grab our friend McKenna. She's gonna come with. I'm taking the first sip of my coffee. Ah. Uh. We've made it to the Greenway. Beautiful. There's moving waterfalls. So we're out here by the water and Delaney goes. Look at those holes. And I go, oh my god, it's probably for a tripod. <laughs> like, no, it's probably stakes. <laughs> <laughs> Two different eyes here. We just came across these little things that give us a lot of history about Athens. And this is the Morton Theater that's downtown. And apparently people such as Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington performed there, which is so crazy to me. And then over here, they're showing Broad Street. This is like literally downtown Athens and that's what it used to look like. This is just really cool. I did the dishes, took a ginger shot, and then I went for a, another walk. Um, and I decided to do my little lip trick, I don't know why. Um, but I went and also got more coffee because why not? I got a Starbucks sweet cream cold brew. About to do a call with a potential guest for Gals on the Go. We're just gonna like meet them first. And then after that, we're doing a recording for Gals on the Go with Kate Bartlett, which I'm so excited about. I love her. I found her on TikTok. She's a student at FIT. And I just can't wait to talk to her about like being a fashion student in New York City and all of the sorts. So I figured I needed more caffeine because as much as we don't have classes today, I do have other grind stuff. So I'm gonna hop on that call here in a couple minutes. And yeah, I don't know. I didn't bring you guys on my walk. I'm sorry. I just wanted to like have a main character moment. I listened to driver's license like three times. So, all right, you guys, we had our call with our guest for next week. It's a very, very, very exciting guest. I think you guys are gonna love her. 
um about to hop on our google hangout and do our podcast recording for the day with kate i'm so excited and then i'm starting to get a little overwhelmed i was just looking at all the assignments i have to do this, this week so i need to get a lot of that done after this podcast recording you guys know how it is like when you first start classes and you're just like trying to get a hang of everything and you know what classes you think are going to be more work heavy all righty so did you did you apply to a ton of schools when you were applying to colleges or just a couple back it was like back here eight all right guys moved to the bed to do more work because i just want to be comfortable and i don't think i'm gonna fall asleep but if i start to get sleepy i'll have to move to my desk but um yeah the progresso soup is amazing by the way i will be repurchasing um you guys said you liked when i told you guys my to-do list um in my last vlog so i'm gonna do that again um i am just trying to get my footing down for the week so that i'm just well prepared for all my homework this week and i can maybe be ahead potentially so i have to do the big five personality test for one of my classes um i have to do an assignment where i watch this ted talk that i've actually already seen um by simon sinek called millennials in the workplace it's very interesting we have to like write a little thing about what we thought about it I have to do two discussion posts for my creativity and the design process class. It looks like we also have to watch some TED Talks for that and write two paragraphs each on what we think of the video. And then also she has like some prompt questions. And then I also have a math assessment for my retail planning and buying class, which is funny because in the podcast episode today with Kate, um, she's a student at FIT and we were asking her like, what do, what do you want to do in fashion? And she was like, well, I thought I wanted to do retail buying because it's like, oh, I want to be a buyer. You know, it sounds so fun, but it's literally all math and I'm learning that. So I have to do a math assessment for that. It doesn't look too hard, but you know, I don't love math. Who, who does? Well, actually, that's a lie. People do like math. And then I also need to DM the giveaway winner for the Dyson Airwrap because I just did that giveaway. And yeah, that's kind of that. I also want a meal plan for the week. Um, because Delaney and I will probably go grocery shopping sometime this week. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I thought I'd fill you guys in. I'll chat with you guys probably before I hit to spin because that's what I'm doing later. All right, about to head to spin. Here is my little spin OOTD. This is just a set from Pure Velo. It's like a shiny one, which I really like. And then I'm just wearing the same jacket. I can confirm it is from Aritzia. And then my TM spin shoes. They're awesome because you don't have to rent shoes. Got my bag, gonna fill up my water, and gonna grab a banana. Need a little snack to power through. Yeah, I'm a little sleepy, but spin always wakes me up and I never regret going. So let's go. <laughs> okay, spin was amazing and I had um, a realization about like comparing yourself I'm in a rush because I have to shower to get ready to watch The Bachelor. But guys, I come home to like a place setting. A little candle at dinner, if you will. Trader Joe's. But like, we're here for it. Thank you. Okay, BRB, gonna shower. Just finished watching The Bachelor, and then Delaney and I both quite literally just drove to a gas station to go buy our own individual boxes of cheeses because we had cravings. So I'm quite excited. I'm not gonna like eat all this tonight, probably. Um, just was really craving them. And the bag just wasn't big enough. So, anyways, I have two homework assignments to finish. I am just now finding out that they are due by class time tomorrow morning at 9.35. So that means they have to be done tonight. I'm going in person to class tomorrow morning, so there'll be some on-campus footage. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, I hope I didn't think of Delaney. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday morning, a little after 8 a.m. I have a 9.35 today. It's my creativity in the design process. It's on campus. I'm really excited. So I'm in the Tuesday group and there's rotations to go either on Tuesdays or Thursdays for social distancing reasons. And I am today. So I'm excited. It's my first time on campus this semester. It should be a good time. Um, I'm going on campus a little bit earlier to meet up with Ryan. He's on campus right now and we're gonna go to Tate Starbucks and I haven't had breakfast or coffee or anything so I'm just gonna meet up with him I haven't seen him since Sunday so I thought it would be a fun little thing to do and yeah and then right after this class I have walking and Delaney and I are the only ones that signed up for in-person walking so she's gonna pick me up from my class and we're gonna drive together and see how this walking class goes Okay, so I wanted to dress up more for class today, but since I have walking after, I just want to be comfortable, obviously, because I'll be walking. So here is my fit, and it's really cold out. It's 30 degrees, so that's that's really cold for this Florida girl. I'm wearing this um, turtleneck 
crop sweatshirt from Nike that I got from ASOS. Over top I have this really comfy Aritzia Super Puff. This is the normal length one. They also have like a crop length and a longer one. I love it. It also has these thumb holes which I think is really cool. Like an extension of the sleeve so you stay super warm. Lululemon leggings and then my same sneakers from yesterday. I'm going to pop in my AirPods and we're going to go for a little walk and go to Starbucks and then take the bus from there to my class at 9.35. All right, I have an hour, let's go. All right, got a tall or a grande pike place coffee, bacon goose sandwich. What's got up everybody? <laughs> got <a> Ryan. <laughs> Hello, good morning. He's walking me to the bus, going to class. I really hope I'm getting on the right bus, so we'll see what happens here. So here is campus. That's pretty. Please wear a mask while on the bus. Okay, so the bus that I needed never came, and I was running out of time. So I hopped on a different bus, got like halfway, and now I'm walking. Feeling like a freshman again, but I kind of like it. Hey guys, so Delaney just picked me up from class. Class was really good. There's actually. It was like a pretty full class with social distancing obviously, but it was kind of fun to be in class again. And now we are headed to our walking class where the only two of us have signed up, so this should be interesting. Apparently it's along a lake, so it should be good. Just made it to the field. There's a really pretty lake over there, and I think that's where we're walking, so very excited about this. There's the pretty lake. We're gonna, since it's just Delaney and I, we wanna like ask if we can walk along the lake, because I think we have to go to this field. This reminds me of going to my brother's soccer practices when I was younger. All right guys, just finished walking. It's a long hour and 15. It's a long hour and 15. I, I feel, you know, it was good. It was us, the professor, and one other girl. She was really nice. We walked around the lake, it was gorgeous. I did not know this lake really necessarily existed on campus and it was so pretty, relaxing. But then we kind of like walked along the street and stuff and I don't know. She didn't mind it, but I would rather just walk around the lake a ton of times because I thought it was so beautiful. But it's a long class. Yeah, we walked through like East Campus, all the buildings, walked along the railroad track, which I liked personally. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We brought our AirPods and hoped that we could like me listen to a podcast. We all like talked the whole time, which was cool. I mean, he's really nice. Really cool. I don't know. <laughs> now we decided to head to Kroger really quick and get groceries because we try to plan like three meals a week. So we're going to come up with those right now. And then we go in, we just like know what we're getting and we each get like one recipe each. Like we get all the ingredients for one recipe and then we both get like half the things for the third or whatever. We just try and figure That's how we do things. Made it to the Krogs. We just planned our meals. We're doing pesto, orzo, rotisserie chicken with green beans because we just forgot how good rotisserie chicken is. And uh, what's the other one? Oh, tacos. Tacos, we can have taco. Wait, it's today Tuesday? Oh wait, but we're having something else tonight. Taco Wednesday. <laughs> All right, here's a random mini grocery haul. I got some ham, it's always nice for lunch or sometimes I'll put it in my eggs or something. Got more bread, um, just some whole wheat bread. Got two gingerberry kombuchas, my favorite flavor, and then my second favorite flavor would be Trilogy. I got these Annie's mac and cheese, they're just simply great. Um, got rotisserie chicken for tonight, it smells absolutely incredible. Um, got a salad kit for one, chicken Caesar. I'm on a soup kick right now, so I'm trying three different ones. Creamy roasted chicken wild rice. I had this one yesterday, I loved it. And then I love split pea soup, so I'm gonna see if this one's good. I love the one my mom makes, so hopefully this is like half as good. Got a ton of green beans, because we make them a lot with our meals. And then I am gonna try this cold brew. You just, it's already like with cream and sugar apparently. I have no idea. Decided just now that I'm going to organize under here. This is where I keep all my snacks and we also keep like pastas. And then Delaney keeps the majority of her snacks up there mainly because I can't reach up there. But um, it's a mess because we also keep our pots and pans and then I put my snacks here and then the rice and the pasta. So I'm gonna organize all this now. Just put everything in the fridge. We good. Wow. This is still organized chaos, but it is so much better. Put all the cans right here, pastas and rices, and then I have some random sweet stuff back there. 
and then chips and Cheez-Its. So, if I were living here longer, I would like probably get some organizers. Like I'm just thinking about this now, but it's all good. It's a lot better, yay. A little salad moment this morning. What kind of salad this morning, this afternoon? This is a Southwest. Southwest salad. I've got Caesar salad, no dressing. If you didn't know that about me, I don't eat salad dressing. I know, crazy. So today's been a really great day thus far. I feel like I've done so much and it's only, it's not even two o'clock yet. And for me, I just, I don't know, it feels good. Like I woke up at 8 a.m. I wasn't super sleepy, so I just got right up, went to class, went to another class and then went grocery shopping, just had lunch, I don't know. Do you guys ever feel that way when you're just like, oh, I did a lot of things. I'm really happy because today, so today's Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I was supposed to have four classes like back to back. And last week it was very, very draining. And I knew I was like, let me just see how all these classes go because every class has their own personality. Every class has their own set of rules and like ways, the ways that they go. And wow, I was so right. So basically my Tuesdays and Thursdays are gonna be a lot better than expected. I always have that 935 class, which I only have to go once a week. There's rotations, well, only once a week in person. And then right after that I have walking, which is in person every time. Then after that, I have my fashion brand management class. However, every like three classes, there's a new topic. So I only have to go every three classes, if that makes sense. We only have to go to six total classes because it's like the same content. Like, like how do I explain this? Like last week, last Thursday was the intro and she's still doing the intro today and um, Thursday. And then next week it starts over and it's like a new lesson, if that makes sense. So that's really nice on her part. I'm here for that. Um, so, and it's just a lot of like project based stuff or stuff that we do on our own, not necessarily like listening to her lecture on Zoom. And then the class after that, my economics class a week, but we can only go once a week. And on the other days, she's not like even Zooming at all. Like I can't even tune in to Zoom today. And I'm in the group for Thursday, I believe. I'm kind of confused on that. And she, I don't really know. There's just only certain days that she's even going to be lecturing. So it all sounds kind of weird. I'm still kind of confused, but basically Tuesdays and Thursdays are gonna be a lot easier for me. It's gonna be a lot of more just individual independent work, which is a lot easier for me because Tuesdays and Thursdays were gonna be packed, packed, packed. And I just was scared I was gonna be drained. So that's really nice. It's more of like just videos you watch on your own, whatever. So I thought I'd give that little basis because I know last week I was like so many classes and you guys are probably like, why aren't you in those classes right now? That is why. So I'm very thankful for that. So I have a meeting, a phone call at three. So I've got a little bit over an hour until that. But for now, I'm gonna pull up my computer and edit my weekend in my life vlog so that goes up. And yeah, I'll check in. I realize that this is a week in my life. Sometimes I forget, so I go really in depth with my days and then the video ends up being really long. I mean, I don't think anyone's mad, but I'll check in with you guys later when I'm doing something more important, I don't know. Actually, really quick, I haven't done my doing well daily yet today, so I'm gonna do it. Let's see what today's quote is. You attract what you're ready for. Oh, that is so true. So I'm gonna go through this, fill out my day, write what I'm thankful for, and my little to-do list, obviously. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> We're really struggling right now. <laughs> I'm writing, I'm, we might be writing a breakup letter to our um, walking professor. <laughs> Guys, we don't know what to do. Like we asked him if he's cool with us like bringing AirPods and he was like, yes, just keep one ear open so I can like ask you questions about walking. The thing is, is like we would love to walk by ourselves, like us two around the lake, around the fields, yeah. like get a good walk in, but he's like walking with us, which <laughs> he's such a nice guy. But He's so nice. It was just a lot of talking and when I'm exercising, I don't really like to talk. Yeah, you really don't. I really don't like to talk. It's like, I remember during Wars. Kind of a buzzkill. And we want to listen to music and, like. Yeah. So, and it's not like, like, I mean, everyone else, literally all the other 30 people in the class are doing online except for us. So we yeah. were just already being awesome for going. So we're debating getting fitness trackers. Yeah, so now it's like, that's the thing. That was the thing holding us back. Neither of us have fitness trackers that, um, Track your heart rate. Oh, I feel so bad. There's one other girl in that class, and we're, like, gonna reach out to her and be like, yo. Yeah, because if, if we leave, then it's just her and the professor. <laughs> and that's must tell her. You have to tell her. You guys, I am so excited. My friend Zara has a company called Soulful Seeds where she basically um, does little style packages for you based off of a mood board you send her on Pinterest or what your style is like, and she goes and thrifts for you. So this is my pure reaction. I've never looked at this before. She just sent this over my way, and I'm so excited to see what she is sending me that she thrifted for me. I'm so excited. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, 
very, very cute. I love the white joggers, very my vibe. Styling inspo, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, these are from my Pinterest board I sent her too. Wow, this is so cool. These are so cool, I love these pants. Oh, like a flow pant. Very cute with like a tank. That I like how she put the sweater around the neck. Very cute, vintage inspired. Oh, literally from my mood board also. Ve I cannot wait to style that. Oh my God, that's so cute of her. She found me a UGA vintage sweater. Wow, this is so cool, Zara. Styling inspo, love that. Oh, Zara, thank you so much. I'll have a link down below for you guys to check her out. This is so cute. I'll obviously show you guys when I get this in the mail. It's so exciting. So I decided to take a quick bath because I'm kind of sore right now. I think it's just from doing a lot more physical activity lately. Um, I'm gonna use this bath bomb that my brother actually got me for Christmas. So shout out Freddie from the brand Fizzy Navel Bath Bombs. And this is a rose floral scent, so I'm very excited. All right, there it goes. Feels like Thanksgiving. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, it's Wednesday. Delaney is here, I am not alone, just so you guys know. I just look like crap. We are making bagel sandwiches today, you guys. So I got ham yesterday, we've got eggs, we've got cheese, the whole nine yards. We're really just going after it this Wednesday. Yay. All right, you guys, headed to my retail planning and buying class. We're doing a math assessment, so I wanna go in person today. Here is my outfit. Um, this crew neck is from ASOS, it's Nike, and then this necklace is from Serafina Jewelry. I showed it my weekend in my life, and then this one's from Gold Hour Co. Sweatpants are from Princess Polly, and then I'm wearing my Air Force Ones and some gold hoop earrings. Let's go. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? I feel like that's your new slogan. Oh, yeah. Uh, going to class, saying hello to this kid. It's a beautiful day. I'm glad I didn't wear a second jacket. My goodness. It warmed up. I'm already late for class. Off to a great start. <sighs> we made it. Just got out of class, we did a math assessment and then she let us out early if you're done. So I'm gonna race home to watch the inauguration because it's happening literally right now. I already missed a little bit of it, but I'm sure I'll see videos on YouTube and stuff, but let's go back. I have the chills, you guys. This is absolutely amazing and so historical. And another one, oh my goodness. Just finished a call, now doing some homework for the next couple hours. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so it's a little bit later. I had some leftovers for lunch. Um, from last night's dinner and then I took a break and walked to get some Arden's Garden, a green smoothie. I thought I'd kind of run through my to-do list with you guys. It's a little bit later in the day. It's like three, yeah, it's four o'clock now. Um, and I think I'm just gonna have like a little me evening. Delaney's got like a ton of random stuff she's doing right now in her room. We're both just kind of like grinding, getting stuff done. The math homework due. Um, which is, it's literally the assessment, but with like a couple different questions. So I don't think it'll be too hard. That's due um, on Friday. So I need to get that done. I also have a discussion post that I have to do for my apparel economics class. I need to break up with my walking professor and tell him. Delaney's mom actually had a couple extra Fitbits. So she gave them to us. She gave, Del Delaney has like an old Apple watch. And then I'm gonna try and use this old, um, Fitbit. I mean, it doesn't even look old. It's so nice. Um, so I'm really thankful. So, I mean, I still might get an Apple Watch. Who knows? But for now, 
just gonna do this so we won't be going to walking anymore which is nice because then we can just do it on our own and we've been going for a lot of walks on our own anyways and um i'm not having to stress out about four classes every tuesday thursday so that's really nice have to email him I have to take a quiz for our walking class which who knows what that's gonna be about then i have to do my quarterly taxes i do quarterly taxes i pay an estimated um quarterly tax every three months so that's what i need to do as well um i have a discussion post i have to do for my product management class talk uh message one of my groups because i'm in a group project for something and i also want to start editing this week in my life because i know it's already so long and i would rather like work on it like day to day and like edit day by day so that when i want to post it this weekend it's like good to go so yeah that's the little to-do list delaney and i are making tacos tonight very excited i'm breaking out i'm really sad because i like didn't want to jinx it i've had like really good skin for probably three or four weeks i haven't had any breakouts and then that's happening but i i really think it's about to be my time of the month so that completely makes sense but yeah i'm in like zen mode candle going Oh yeah, I'm just gonna do this now. For my retail planning and buying class, we have to do a little Excel refresh and take a quiz on, you know, our knowledge on Excel. So I'm kind of going through the review right now. <laughs> Why is this so sad? Just wrote my breakup letter to my walking professor. <laughs> Guys, no joke, my whole to-do list has been crossed off and is done. I'm so happy. All right, I think I got this Fitbit working. I just asked him if when I go to spin class tomorrow, if that counts for like credit for walking, because you have to get your heart rate to a certain amount and I have to do 75 more minutes by Friday. And he said yes, so very sweet. Let's say I'm doing an exercise, then I would press walking, I suppose, and then you would like start, okay. Okay, cool. I'll do that tomorrow. Yay! Do they have biking on here? They must. Yeah. So dark and vibey out here. Playing some Kenny Chesney, chopping the tomatoes, ground turkey, woo woo. Shredding the lettuce, baby. Yummers. So, we just got word that Powerball lottery tonight. So, I've actually never bought a lottery ticket. I feel like that's something you do when you turn I did 18. that on my 18th birthday. I went to get a uh, lottery ticket and they didn't even ID me, so. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I can drive. Um, so yeah, we're just, just finished dinner. I thought it would be fun if we went and bought some lottery tickets. We got them, baby. I literally, the guy thought I was so stupid. I didn't understand. There were only $2 per ticket. And I was like, so there's all these numbers. Like, oh God, that was so embarrassing. I was like, I swear I'm 18. I've just never thought this before. All right, we're just having a night. First Powerball, now brownies. What could be better? We hung up our Powerball there, playing Frank Sinatra, making brownies that we had, because why not? <laughs> Brownies in the oven, now for the best part, licking the bowl. Ending the evening off with another bath, just ate some brownies, it's a good night. See you guys tomorrow morning. You guys, it's a rainy morning. I have a class at 9.30, I have my cityscapes on, made a cup of coffee, gonna do my planner, and I think it's a classroom bed type of day. I'm hopping on my creativity and the design process class. Today, she said um, there will be a guest speaker, so I'm really excited about that. All right, you guys just finished class, had some more breakfast. Here is my outfit for the day, going to run some errands. I love this crew neck that I got from the Make Fair group. It is so comfortable, so soft. I'm breaking out, just let's not talk about it. Hat, you guys have seen, it's from Urban Outfitters. Ne uh, earrings are from 60 Stacks. Sweatpants are the nostalgia sweatpants, also from Mayfair Group. I love them. Nike Air Force Ones. My purse is this little baguette bag from Urban Outfitters. I love it so much. I'm going to get my nails done, you guys. I'm so excited. I've had these for like three or four weeks now. Love them, but I'm ready for something new. I'm like so into nail art right now. So reason 25, why you guys should follow me on Instagram. I do polls and I have you guys literally choose my life decisions. So I was in between either doing this white flames or pink tips. 
Um, I'm obsessed with both. However, um, most people said the pink tips, and I kind of agree because it's like Valentine's Day vibes too. So I'm gonna do that and try and keep my natural nail length. Um, probably just cut them or file them down a little bit and then do that. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. See you guys after. You guys, I am so obsessed with how these turned out. They did an amazing job. I went to Nail So Dep in Athens. I am, like, this was so impressive too. Literally dipped my tips in the powder and like didn't have to fix them at all. Like this just came out as is, which is so impressive. She said these actually glow in the dark like halfway through. She's like, oh, by the way, this is gonna glow in the dark. I was like, that's fine, it's kinda hype. Little, little fun trick there, so. Yeah, I am so excited! I also just cannot believe these are my real nails. Like, I finally got my nails to grow. <laughs> About to pop into Indigo Child. I drove here, actually, because the owner texted me and was like, hey, we have some new arrivals I think you'd like. So, I always like to support small businesses, and I love Indigo Child, so I want to go see what she's got. And then, we're going to go home. Just got back, made a little bowl with some leftovers we had, rice, beans, ground turkey from last night, and green beans. Gonna watch some YouTube and just vibe out. All right guys, just did some homework. Now headed to spin class, I'm excited. I'm wearing this one shoulder set from Set Active. It's one of my favorites, it's like ribbed. Jacket is from Princess Polly. Hopefully I figure out how to like track my workout so I do this correctly. <laughs> was so good today. I think she did like all SoundCloud remixes, which I'm so here for. All right, you guys, just got back and showered super quickly, ate a banana after spin, and I just had to document using my Air app. I use it all the time, and I just had to remind you guys that I still love it. It's still amazing. I've been loving just this simple like brush head. Literally, this has taken me, I don't know, five minutes, and my hair is already almost dry and straight. It's amazing, because I have a video call for um, Gals on the Go, our podcast. So I wanna look like somewhat presentable. I'm not gonna put on makeup. I'm not gonna put on makeup. I'm just gonna have my hair like done. I'm gonna put on blue light glasses and pop a blazer over. That's kind of like my go-to. All right, you guys, you know the drill. We've got a blazer up top with the blue light glasses, sweatpants on the bottom. It just, it simply works and I'm here for it. And I'm very excited. This necklace is from Serafina Jewelry. Been loving it lately. I don't know why, but I have bussy. Bust it stuck in my head. Um, drinking some kombucha. I don't think I had any yesterday. Kind of crazy. Yeah. All right. Delaney made us dinner. We've got some pesto orzo. How was it? I feel like usually I cook this dish. Yeah, I don't know if I did it right. Are you freaking out? It looks good. I don't know if I cooked the veggies for too long. Sure. No, too long is better, honestly. All right, you guys finished the meeting. And then I came out to the kitchen and Delaney made dinner, which was so hype because I was really hungry. I texted her, I was like, could you start? <laughs> so yeah, I just changed into the set from by Bruno. I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed another college week in my life. So many more to come. Well, until then, and then May, and then I graduate, and we just won't talk about that, but that's okay. I have lots of new videos I want to film. I kind of brainstormed a ton. Obviously, mainly vlogs. I know you guys like the vlogs, but also, I'm still the nails. So I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye-bye. Actually, next Wednesday. See you next Wednesday. Bye.